is Mark Berman from TDMI. It is Monday, March 16th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I hope everybody had a great weekend. As you can see, my co-host, Buster Berman, is back. He is to the left of me, and he is doing what he does pretty much all day, just sleep. So my co-host and my co-worker basically doesn't do anything, but he is back. Welcome back, Buster. Let's talk about some current TV news. We will begin with the casting of Jamie Presley on the upcoming third season of CBS sitcom Mom, which was just renewed last week. Now, Jamie Presley, who we know from My Name is Earl, appeared in a couple of episodes of Mom this season. Her character of Jill, who is a rich, divorced woman, has been upgraded to a regular status. Truthfully, I don't understand why they need her as a regular. I don't think she really added too much to the show. I would like to see more of Mimi Kennedy. But Jamie Presley is joining the upcoming season of Mom. Over on FX, the next edition of American Horror Story, which will be themed hotel, will feature Matt Bomber and Cheyenne Jackson. They will be joining Lady Gaga. In this edition, there is no details in terms of what this is about. And unfortunately, Jessica Lange is definitely not returning. She has the Decided to call it quits after four seasons. What a great gig for her. She only really had to do 13 episodes and she's won a couple of Emmys for being on the show and I am certain she will be nominated again for the recent season themed freak show. My colleague Douglas Pucci has put together a comprehensive schedule of the first two rounds of upcoming March Madness, a.k.a. the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. It's going to be airing on CBS, True TV, TNT, and TBS. If you visit our website or I have a link for you to do so, you can get a full schedule. Thank you for doing that, Douglas. Upcoming on A&E is a new docu-series called Eight Minutes. It will focus on individuals who are affected by sex trafficking. It's going to debut on A&E on Thursday, April 2nd at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I have more information for you on that upcoming um, series on A&E. In the cable scorecard, the top 20 most watched shows for this past Thursday, March 12th, The O'Reilly Factor on Fox News led the pack with 2.96 million viewers. Just check out today's newsletter. You will have a listing of the 20 most watched shows in the weekend box office, Cinderella. Led the pack by far with a U.S. tally of $70.05 million in the box office receipts. In the very distant number two spot was Run All Night with Liam Neeson. That only had $11 million. And we have a complete listing of the box office for you in today's newsletter. Once again, thank you, Douglas Pucci. In syndication, Telco Productions has announced it is offering three new specials for this summer. They are called... Hawaii Marlin Challenge, Hollywood News Summer Movie Preview, and finally, Bill or Bud Billiger Back to School Parade. I have more information for you on those three specials in today's newsletter and at our website, Today in TV History. Let's go back to 1974. Whenever I think about this, I really have to smile because it, 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 it's my one of my all-time favorite things on television. On The Carol Burnett Show, the sketch The Family was introduced in 1974. That means, if my math is correct, that was 41 years ago. We had Carol Burnett as fi a very fiery Eunice, Harvey Corman as her dim-witted husband, Ed, and Vicki Lawrence as cantankerous mama. It was the first of 30 different family sketches, which ultimately led to a made-for TV movie on CBS in 1982 called Eunice, and the spin-off sitcom Mama's Family, which aired on NBC from 1983 to 1985. Then it moved into first-run syndication through 1990. Whenever, again, whenever I think of it, I have to laugh. Before I leave, I have to wake up my co-host, because he's got to do something. Buster is back. The reason he wasn't here, by the way, was it was so cold in this room, I had to do the video cast in another room. And Buster is here. He wants to wish you all a great day. And I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, which happens to be television. Have a great day. Signing off, Mark and Buster. Amen.